Hey future millionaires, my name is Isabella and I became a self-made millionaire thanks to online business. Today I'm gonna give you an entire full step-by-step -step guide on how to start your Shopify store in less than 10 minutes. Usually with Shopify, you'll get one month for a dollar, but I found a special link just for you guys, three months for $1. So make sure you guys use that link right at the top of my description box down below to sign up for Shopify through that link. After you click that link, it will bring you to this page. Then just enter your email address and click start free trial. It's going to ask you to just answer some of these questions. You can just click skip all or go through the questions. They really don't matter much. Then just click your country and click next. Then finish the sign up process and it's gonna bring you to this page. This right here is the Shopify dashboard. And it might look a little overwhelming at first, but I promise I'll keep it as simplified as possible for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is to choose a theme for our online store and to make it look beautiful. So on the Shopify main page here, just click online store and then click themes. You will see here Shopify shows you free themes that you can use. Honestly, the free themes are great. You do not have to use a paid one. Just look through them and add the one you want to your store by clicking add. For this video, I'm of course gonna just use a free theme that looks simple to start with. I'm gonna just click add and it's gonna install this theme right into your store. Now just click publish, click publish again. When you're here, click customize. And here is where the fun part begins. So let's click on the color section under your theme settings. And we're just gonna play around with the colors to find what's gonna match our brand and products. So just for this video, I'm just gonna pretend I'm starting an online store with kitchen gadgets. You can see here, you can customize things like headers, footers, buttons, and more, but I don't like to take too much time obsessing over this. The goal is to just keep it simple, clean, and professional. You also wanna make sure you pick a theme that looks really good on mobile because 90% of users are actually shopping on their phones. This was like a crazy statistic. So just make sure that you also pick a theme that also is gonna look good on mobile. So now we're gonna add our important pages, like an about us page, a shipping policy, and the terms and conditions page. So just go back to your Shopify dashboard, click online store, and then click pages. Add a new page by clicking add page. For example, let's add a shipping policy page. And if you need help writing this, you could actually just go to ChatGPT and ask it, create a shipping policy page for my online kitchen gadget store. And once ChatGPT generates this content, you can literally just copy it and paste it into the page editor. And then you can make any changes that you need after that. And when you are done, you can just click save. Then to make this page visible, just go to the navigation, click main menu, and add your page here. Now the customers are gonna be able to see it on your store menu, which is gonna make your store look just a lot more legitimate and trustworthy. Now let's add products to this online store. On your Shopify dashboard, click products on the left menu, click add product, and then upload your product photos. For us, since we are a kitchen gadget store, I'm just gonna upload these high quality images that I got from my supplier. And this is obviously gonna depend on what you're doing. Maybe you have your own photos, maybe you have it from a supplier or a digital product photo. Whatever you're doing, just upload that photo here. And we're gonna just add our title and our description here. And you can actually use Shopify's generate text button to create a description, or you can just write your own. So here's an example description that we made for our product. This is important because I want you guys to actually look professional with your product listings. So here we have effortlessly slice and dice your fruits and vegetables with our fruit and veg salad slicer. This kitchen tool enables precise uniform cuts, ensuring an aesthetically pleasing presentation, save time and efforts and meal preparation while promoting healthier eating habits. This is also a great place to put like if you are a next day shipper or say, there, you wanna just enclose that it's like fast shipping. You could say like two day shipping and just kind of put your points here. Here you're gonna add your price and the cost per item. So for example, if the slicer costs you $15 to source, you're obviously gonna sell it for $30 or more. And Shopify will calculate your profit margin for you right here. If your product comes in different colors or sizes, add them as variants like silver or black here. Then just click save and your product will appear in your store. And you can just add more products just by repeating this same process. 
So of course, don't forget to set up your payment options under the finances tab. So just go to the finance tab and just make sure you set these up because this is how you're gonna actually receive your money from your customers. And don't worry, each thing that you go through, they're gonna walk you through the steps here. So don't worry, it's not too complicated. So something really important guys is make sure that you guys pick a plan because if you forget, you will lose all of your progress. So make sure that you guys go here, click here, and then you can pick one of these plans to use Shopify. I always just go for the basic plan. You don't usually need anything fancy when you're first starting off, but obviously it's up to you and what you are specifically doing, but I always just use the most basic one. And then as my business grows, I upgrade. Um, so that is what I usually use. So you'll click on which plan you want, and then you'll just put in your card information here, and then you will finish up this section. Again, do not forget to do this, because if you do forget and these three days go by, then you will lose everything that you just created. And then of course you will get the promotion three months for a dollar, which is really awesome because they have not had this promotion for a while now. So definitely take advantage of it while it is out right now. I want to show you a couple more features that you can add to your online store. So on the Shopify dashboard, click online store again, then click themes, then click customize. We're going to go back into the customization page. I'm going to actually show you how to create a logo for your store. And let's just first update our website banner. This is also called an announcement bar. So if you have a sale, you can change this. You can do different things here. So click under announcement bar on the left hand side. Just click on welcome to our store. And it's going to then on the right side, pull up this text box and you can actually type in this text box, whatever you want. So you could say free item with every order, free shipping up to $50 and up. You could do a couple of different things here. So we're going to just type in free shipping on orders over $50. And you can see here it updates at the same time that we're putting it in. So you can see what it looks like right away. When you're done with that, just click on save. So if you hover over the header, here's where you can change even more things up on this header. So hover over header and it's gonna bring down all these different options you can do. So you have main menu, you have like different color themes here that you can change. If you wanna edit your logo, you can just click on this button called theme settings. Then you can see after you click that, it gives you the option to actually change the logo so you can upload your own logo here. So if we go over to Canva, Canva is a free platform that I use all the time. I just have the free version here. If we go over to these tabs here on the left, go to design and then we'll type in kitchen. And again, you can see here, there are so many different logos that you can just get. They're already done for you. So this is probably the easiest way to get a professional logo and you can do this with every single niche. And of course, because we're doing one for Shopify, we wanna just make sure that we're keeping it super like thin for the top of the Shopify store. So I'm just gonna delete this hat right here. And now we just have our logo. I like the font that they chose here. That's just for the example. It looks really good. So when you go to save this logo, go up to the upper right hand corner and click on share. Then you're gonna turn the size all the way up. This is gonna make it really high resolution. So going back over to our Shopify customization page, we're gonna just click select right here next to the logo, click add images. We can upload our image of this logo that we just made, select it, and then just click done. And now we can see how this is gonna look on mobile and the desktop. I think it looks great. So under colors, let's just check and see other colors that might match our store good. You play around with this and let's change this to a gradient here. Pull over whichever one you want that you like and then it will add this gradient to the background of your store. Love the look of this. And you can add these color schemes then to anything that you want. So we now have our online store ready to go and it looks so amazing. You can see our products look very good. I love how it crosses out the other price that we had originally. So it shows the discounted price. We have our description that looks great. We have the add the cart button, that's functioning good. And you can see how seamless like this whole checkout process is. I would say Shopify really does kill it as far as how fast the um, like the checkout page is. I feel like it's always like just very seamless. And the contact page, the shipping policy pages are all here as well. If you guys don't need help, feel free to leave a comment down below. I try to respond to all of my comments. Hope you guys learned lots from today's tutorial. I hope this helped you out tons. If you guys don't already know, my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. I have so many different free courses there for you guys that you can take advantage of. Actual in-depth business models, showing you how to start them, showing you how to source product importantly, how to grow your online store. 
A lot of people show you how to set up these online stores or show you how to start online businesses, but not everybody actually teaches you how to grow them. So I have free courses on my YouTube channel just about organic marketing, how to grow without buying ads, exactly what made me a millionaire. So I don't gatekeep anything for you guys. It's all 100% free on my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in my next free course. Bye everyone.